Hey friends, so today I'm going to be taking you through how I practice showmanship for the county fair. So this is my guinea pig, Opie, and let's get right into it. So now we're going to go through showmanship from start to finish. I wanted to start with how we hold our kitties. So first we're going to face them towards you. And the way that I like to pick them up is I'm going to kind of hold my hand in a C shape. My thumb is going to come between their front legs. It's a little bit hard to see. And then my other four fingers are going to wrap around the top. You're going to scoop them up and place his head right underneath your elbow, making sure that all of their feet are nicely tucked underneath them. And so when you're in a show, you're going to then walk up to the table. We want to stand about three, four feet away from the table. You don't want to be right up next to it, but you also don't want to be like 10 feet away. <laughs> And we're gonna do four quarter turns, standing at each quarter turn for about two seconds. So we're gonna wait for the judge to acknowledge us, and that's gonna make sure that he is um, finished with the last um, person who came in and showed, and that he's all ready to pay attention to us. So we're gonna wait until he acknowledges us. Usually they'll nod to you, sometimes they'll tell you okay. And once they've done that, we're gonna turn one quarter turn, and the next one, next one, and the next one. And this tip shows the judge that from all angles you're holding your KB properly and that you're supporting them as well as you can. And then once they've nodded to you and acknowledged you, you're going to come up to the table and set your KB down. And you're going to face them so that their left side is towards the judge. So we're going to kind of scoot them up like that. And then we're going to pose our KBs. So to do that, we're going to make sure that their feet are nicely tucked up underneath them. We don't want them to be super scrunched together, but we also don't want them really stretched out. So we want them, depending on how big your cave is, they'll be closer together to more um, stretched out. But this is about good for Opal. And now we're going to introduce ourselves. So we're going to start with my name, both first and last name, your age, and what 4-H club you're in, if you're doing this through 4-H. And then you're going to talk about your guinea pig, and you're going to go through um, its breed, their color, their class, so if it's junior, intermediate, or senior, their, gen their sex, so if it's sow or bo boar, and then you're going to go into your showmanship. So putting that all together into our introduction is going to sound like, hello, my name is Maddie Boyland, I'm 11 years old, I'm in the Bitterwater 4-H club, and this is my American Satin Silver Beauty Senior Boar. And then we're gonna go into the characteristics of what makes him a silver beauty and what makes him an American satin. So we're gonna start with a breed, which is American satin. And it's gonna be different for all breeds, but specifically for the American satin. What makes him an American satin is his short Roman nose, his rose petal ears, his high crown, his short smooth coat, and his translucent hair shafted coat that makes him have sheen. And what makes him a silver beauty is his black face with silver ticking and his white belly band. So the first part of the KV that we're going to go over is their ears. To examine the ears, we're going to face the KV towards the judge. So as we're moving the KV around, we're going to move them in quarter turns. So I'm going to take my hand and I'm going to move them in a quarter turn. You can just briefly set them up, kind of tuck their feet underneath them, um, but we don't want to spend a bunch of time fixing them up. So to do their ears, if your key has been to a regular ARBA show or is registered, we'll have an ear tag. So you'll want to know uh, what that number is, explain to the judge why it's there. My key does not have any ear tags, so I'm not going to mention that. <laughs> um, but So we're going to start with the outside of the ear. We're going to talk about the color. And so we're going to make sure that it's the proper color for the color of your KV. And we're going to make sure that there's no missing portions are torn and then we're going to look in the inside of the ear for any mites and then because in some parts of the cave that you're going through have a lot to say about it we're going to talk about talk the judge through what we're looking for in one of the ears and then I'm just going to go ahead and check the other ear so that I don't have to repeat everything that I just said okay and then we're going to do the eyes so to check the eyes we're going to face them towards you so we're going to turn them in two quarter turns. We're going to take our hand, our thumb is going to go in between their two front legs, and our other four fingers are going to wrap around them. Our 
other hand is going to come behind them, scoop them up, and tuck them underneath our arm. And this is, allows us to check the eyes. So we're not going to pry the eye open, but we're just going to hold it open so the judge can see it. And we're checking for any signs of blindness, fatty eye, wall eye, moon eye, pea eye, or any foreign spots or colors. And then I'll go ahead and check the other eye. And then we're going to set our KVs back down. So the next thing we're going to examine is the straightness of their hind legs. So to get them in position for that, we're going to have them facing towards the judge. So again, two quarter turns. We're going to hold our hands in kind of this position. The um, KB's two front legs are going to sit between um, our pointer finger, our other two fingers, or our thumb. And that way we can wrap our fingers around and make our KB feel the most supported. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And then our other free hand is going to come behind them, support their hind end. We're going to sit them up on their um, rump and we're going to lean them up against yourself. That just makes them feel the most secure. And we're going to check the straightness of the hind legs, making sure that they're not broken, anything like that. Awesome. We're going to turn our KVs back over. And then again, we're going to turn them two quarters turn so that they're back towards um, facing me. So we're going to go one and two. And then we're going to get in the same position that we were in when we checked the eyes. So we're going to take our hand in this shape. Our thumb is going to come between the two front legs. Our other four fingers are going to wrap around them. We're going to scoop their hind legs up and under our arm. We're going to check the nose for any nasal discharge. And then we're also, there you go. And then we're also going to check the inside of the front legs to make sure that there's no moisture. If their nose is um, wet and they have a cold, they'll wipe it with the inside of their legs. So sometimes even when their nose is dry, the inside of their legs will be wet because they've just wiped it clean. So we want to make sure that the inside of their paws are dry. And then we're going to also check the teeth as we're in this position. We're going to check for any malocclusion, buck teeth, wolf teeth, peg teeth, or any broken or missing teeth. So now we're going to set our KVs down. And we're going to turn them one and quarter turns. They're facing sideways. You can turn them either direction. Neither way matters. But I'm going to turn my KV to its right, but so that the right side is facing towards the judge. We're going to tuck, I'm going to tuck my four fingers underneath the KV, and my thumb is going to come over the top, just like that. I'm going to use my right hand to support its hind legs, and we're going to bring it onto her back. Then I'm going to switch to my right hand and hold just the opposite way. That way my hand is on the opposite side and the judge can see as much as possible, and my hand's not over the KV. So I'm going to check for the straightness of the front legs. I'm going to check to make sure that they have four toenails. I'm going to check for any mismatched toenails. So if you want to come in here, this is a defect. My KV has one white toenail and the rest are black. So in showmanship, the judge is just wanting to know that you know a lot about your KV. So pointing this out to the judge and saying, hey, I know that this is a defect, that my KV has a miscolored toenail. They like to know that just to make sure that you understand that your KV has a defect. So then their front feet should have four toes, so we're going to count them out. <laughs> One, two, three, four. And we're going to do the same on the other foot. And then we're going to check the pads of their feet to make sure that they don't have any sore pads. Um, from the wire and bumblefoot is a disease that they can get in the pads of their feet. And then we're gonna go ahead and check their belly. We're gonna check for any abscesses, blemishes, abnormalities, and then we're gonna check for pigeon breast. And we're also gonna check under their jaw area for these same things, so abscesses, abnormalities, and blemishes. There we go. So now we're gonna check the Kiwi's hind legs, and we're gonna check um, their hind legs are going to have three toes, so we're going to make sure that they have all three toes, all three toenails. There we go. We're going to check it on this foot as well. 
We're gonna check again that they don't have Bumblefoot on either feet. Perfect. And then we're gonna check the sex of our guinea pigs. So mine is a boar, which means that he is a male guinea pig. Hi. <laughs> Sometimes they get a little bit squirmy when they're on their back. There we go. And so I'm gonna check and make sure that both testicles have descended. And I'm also gonna check to make sure that their scent glands are clean. And his are clean. And then we're gonna go ahead and turn our babies over. So the last individual section that we're gonna go over with our cages is their fur. So to get them into the position for that, we're gonna turn them so they're facing towards us. And we're gonna take our hands and we're gonna run it through the opposite direction so that the judge can see the full coat. We're gonna be looking for density, sheen, luster, any ridges and rosettes, resilience, and kinks. And some of these are only found in particular breeds. So in this KV breed, you would not find rosette, rosettes or resilience or ridges or kinks. And then we're also gonna check for the undercolor. And so you can see the different, the hair kind of goes from white to black to dark gray into the pink skin. And then we're gonna check for any mites and lice and the skin color as we're down there as well. Hey friends, thanks for coming and watching me um, as I practice showing my cavies for the county fair, you can purchase this rabbit and KV standard of perfection on the ARVA website. And for those of you who are 4-Hers and FFAers, we'll have future showmanship videos coming out, not only on cavies, but also in other species. We'll have videos coming out on standard of perfections, um, proficiencies, all those kind of stuff. And even if you're not in 4-H or FFA, we'll have really cool videos coming out on um, just how to care for your animals, what fun toys we can make for them, and how to just give them the best life we can possible. We'll see ya!